Hi everyone! Today we're gonna mix these greens with these primary colors. Okay, here we have um, our three primary colors. Ultramarine blue, cadmium red light, and lemon yellow. I'm using this because I recently bought these two. I already have this one and I wanted to try them together. I love it color on its own so I thought they would work well as a triad for me. So what we're gonna do is I already put a little drop of each color in this ceramic plate, ceramic dish. Um, I let it dry and now they are ready to re-wet. This one dried super dark, super, super dark. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a series of greens, some greens tending to the blue color, blue shade, and those will be the cold greens and here will be the more neutral greens and over here we'll, we'll make some uh, warm greens uh, which means they will tend towards the, um, the yellow. I wrote down each name uh, with the um, corresponding pigment below. These are single pigment colors. They will be more pure than a color made with two or three pigments. Oh. This one rewetted uh, faster than the blue. And it's super bright. Super, super bright. I, I like it. These are my new colors. Ultramarine um, Finest from Schmincke and uh, Cadmium Red Light from Schmincke. Now, I'm going to start by mixing the greens that will go here, the most neutral greens. They won't tend, and I'm, I'm trying to make them uh, as neutral so they won't tend to cool or warm greens. I'm going to put all this yellow here and since this will be in the middle then we can add more blue to the cool greens then more red to the warm greens This is a very warm green. It tends more to the yellow. This would be more like a in the middle green. Hmm. Maybe it's too cool. They are pretty neutral. Okay, now I'm gonna use the green, the mixed green that has more blue. And I'm gonna be adding a bit more blue.
I need more glue. A bit more blue. I'm using um, Canson XL, by the way. More blue. I think this will be the last one. All these greens you can use in botanical paintings. Leaves are not, are not always green green. Sometimes they turn towards blues or towards lemon yellow. Like for instance, um, the eucalyptus, I'm <laughs> hoping that's the name in English. Uh, it has um, almost blue leaves. They are they are so pretty. They are like a green bluish pastel tone. Now this is almost blue, but it's pretty. I like it. Okay, now we're gonna go to the other side of the paper and we are gonna make some warm greens. So to the, this mix we have over here, we are gonna add a little tiny, tiny bit of more yellow than, um, than blue. And more yellow. I think my brush was dirty. With blue. Okay. This one would be closer. Oh, I love the texture. The ultramarine. It's a granular pigment, so it's making a nice texture. I'm guessing. This side of the greens won't be as textured because it won't have that much. It won't have that much of that blue. More blue. There. More yellow. yellow why it's showing so fluorescent now more a bit more yellow bit of water is I want to take it out no. See this? 
this happens with the <clears throat> squirrel brushes so I, I only do use this for um, big washes or rewetting paint because I can't work with this shape now I want to do here I'm gonna draw a line I'm gonna tone down a few greens so they won't be as saturated as these ones they will be tending towards grayish um, neutral tone for that okay I'm gonna make one big green Cleaning my brush. Now I'm gonna take a bit of red. Red is the opposite color in the color wheel of green. So if this were to be a um, a color wheel, I'm sorry, <laughs> a color wheel between blue and yellow, we would we would have green here between blue and red we would have purple and between red and yellow we would have orange so if green is here the opposite color would be here and that's red in the case of blue the opposite color would be orange but that's another video for another day now a tiny bit not so tiny There we go. Oh, this brush is shading. Okay. Let's test this mixture. <laughs> it's too light. I need more color. Now it's rewetting faster. Now I have more green. Okay. I'm gonna add some red now we have a more natural green looking I don't even know what I'm speaking. I need to practice my English. Okay. This is like a green earth. Green. Green earth, green. <laughs> See? I think my, my camera's capturing too much light. There, maybe that's better. Now I'm going to add a bit more yellow and see what happens.
Now I'm gonna add more blue. And maybe I will make a neutral cool green. Super transparent. darker happened that was a tiny particle of blue like it didn't dissolve with the water let's see now now you're working That's it. So with these three colors, we did all these greens. And why am I doing this? Because sometimes we can't afford a full palette. It's better to learn to mix the three primaries and you can get tons, tons of shades out of these three colors. So if we did, like 20 greens that would go here we have 20 greens here we can have 20 oranges and here we would have like 20 purples and in the middle when we mix all we would have lots of shades of browns and and, um, and grays and blacks so we can work with three colors so this is it and if there's anything else you would like to know please comment down below please leave a comment if you like it please thumbs up and if you want you can share it with your friends with your artist friends and if you want to see more of these types of videos don't forget to subscribe because I will be permanently uploading videos and tutorials, reviews and vlogs about being an artist, an independent artist, um, mom, housewife, independent artist. And that's it. Have a nice day. Bye.